I'll be honest with you, Sandy, it's I don't like me, and I never have. It feels like I never have. But to reap the benefits of any weight loss this week, the therapists believe he'll need to shed negative emotions too. Let's talk about this not loving yourself, not liking yourself. Yeah. Um, and let's assume that when we resolve that, the weight loss thing will take care of itself. Right. But the conversation Sandy wants to have is with Vince's subconscious. So he uses a rapid fire questioning technique designed to prompt it. What's the root cause of that? The problem of not really liking yourself. The first event which, when resolved, will cause that problem to disappear. If you were to know, was it before, during, or after your birth? After. If you were to know, what age were you? First numbers come to mind. Fourteen. Fourteen days, weeks, months, or years? Yes. Fourteen years. Okay. When you think of age fourteen, what's the first person, place, event, or thing to come to mind? School. It was a struggle to be liked. Is there a, by any chance, a particular symbolic event that kind of pops into your head? Yeah, it's an awful one. Um, I watched some boys at school well, murder a crow, to be honest. They kicked this poor bird to death. And I knew then, to be included, I had to be like that. And I wasn't like that. I couldn't do that, you know. So I suppose then I've always been on the edge and never wanted to be included, but needed to be. Wow. How are you feeling at that point? It's that horrible realisation that this poor bird's going to die and I can't do anything about it because there was just me. And three girls, would you believe, yeah? Three girls with me trying to make them stop kicking the crow. How did you feel? I felt alone. You felt alone? The aim of the holistic detox is to help everyone address painful memories and repressed feelings, and then release them to free the mind and spirit to support the body in a positive way. And outside, just by talking through the feelings associated with a teenage memory of failing to stop a crow being killed, Vince has had an emotional epiphany. <laughs> You're some kind of wizard. <laughs> You're doing all the work, my friend. When you think about that now, how do you feel? Um, I'm still Honestly. Quite, yeah, I'll be honest, I'm still quite proud of myself that I actually tried to stop it. Mm -hmm. you know. What I want you to do, I want you to think about that memory and notice that the memory is there, but the feelings of you being vulnerable, isolated and alone aren't, are gone. Yeah, but I can feel they're already going. I know I'm stood on the outside, but I'm not observing something from the outside anymore. I'm observing it from my standpoint. Yeah. Not feeling like the outsider. Are you not kind of wanting to give your, the 14 year old a bit of a pat at the back? Mm. Because he didn't get involved. He did what I would do now. Exactly. Yeah, it was me. So, so I'm not lonely anymore. I'm just being on my own. It's different, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you think you might actually be able to be alone and be comfortable with that now? Yes. I see your eyes, they're like, wow! I'm, I'm, you, know, you said you wanted to be fun loving and. I'm waking up. Yeah. I feel like I've been asleep for a long time. I'm waking up. Vince has really embraced everything we've suggested to him. He's not resisted, he's just gone for it. He has really looked inside and realised that he didn't like the person who he was. He didn't like what he saw in the mirror. He did not love the skin that he was in. And we saw that it was magical. He just opened up. He realised the blocks that had been preventing him from loving himself. And he just seemed to open up in front of our eyes. It was just fantastic to see.